we are going to give you an exclusive behind the scenes look at what it takes to put this haunted house on. We're going to show you all the scenes with the lights on and with the lights off. But as you'll find out here in a few minutes, this place is pretty darn creepy and we're going to get inside there and see what's going on before we check it out. If you just sit in here, yeah. you can feel Oh, I can feel it now. You can mm -hmm. feel it. We have ghost hunters that have came and then they do the their, their thing as soon as they go live, dead quiet. Yeah. All right, we need to move on. I can feel <laughs> yeah. No, I can feel it. They're, okay. they're, they're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Was that, uh, I'm going to do a Lindsay. Was that necessary? <laughs> oh! pretty girl. Ooh, when people scream out here, it echoes. I don't know why I went down the ramp. It's longer. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Could you feel it? I, my back oh, started getting yeah. cold. That's why I was like, we need to get out of here. They were kind of like, ooh, who are you guys? <laughs> I'm Dale Little. I'm one of five that uh, work here at Aura Haunted House. My brother Scott, my brother Steve, and then my sister-in-law Jan, and my niece Courtney. The five of us here, we manage this. And, and I do actor training. I do social media. I work with the, the, the media and stuff like that. And overall, tell me what to do and I'll go do it. One of those, <laughs> that, that's, that's what my title is. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just give you a little bit of history here. Yeah. So the Peoria State Hospital is a campus when it was built in 1902. It was a campus with 63 buildings. Um, as of today, this is one of 13 that are still left standing. If you look down the road here, you can see some of the cottages, and that's where some of the people would have lived when they lived here. Like I said, 800 acres. They were self-sufficient. Their own fire department, their own police department, their own water supply. So this was the Pollock Tuberculosis Hospital building. It was built in 1949 and closed in 1973. This would have been the women's wing, and to the right would have been the men's wing. They were segregated. Um, even back then they were segregated because they weren't sure how tuberculosis, how you got it. They, they were still in the, in, the, in the stages of learning about it. Mm -hmm. And then the center of the hospital, that would have been all your doctor's office treatment rooms. And then this right here, this was the dock, this was the uh, cafeteria. This okay. is where they made the food, prepped the food to take to the, to the patients. When you go in the building, if you look at the floor, you can just tell. And I actually have a friend of mine his mother worked here in 1968 as a dietitian and actually worked in this building oh, that's, to, and that's fed really patients. Cool. So wow. we'll walk over this way. We'll just kind of show you the, the way when, the, when we are open, the way the customers come in. And... Now, you know Dale has legs that are twice the length of mine because I can't walk that fast. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we're, now we're doing it. <laughs> So this is your ticket. So this is the box office when you walk up. And if you'll notice on each side of the box office, you see the, the boards up top. But if you look down below, um, these were the, the air handlers, the air scrubbers. And each wing had four, two on each end. So air would have been brought in one side, cleaned, and then on the outside it was cleaned before it was taken out the other, other end of the building. When we go around the corner here, you'll get an idea for how big and how long this, this wing would, would be. Blackout night. Whoo, blackout night in this building would be creepy. Yeah, it would be Because it's dark in there, you know. So yeah, the customers come up here. Now during season, we have queue lines all down through here and roped up, but this is the way the customers go. And if you get a get a shot of this, you can see how... It is very long. How long this, uh, this wing of the hospital would be. Hmm. So we'll walk on down this way. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's the whale that Samara comes out of. <laughs> so when you come around this back side here and you look, our property goes from the sidewalk down to those benches. Um, and that's cemetery number two. There's four cemeteries here on the property. There's one uh, back behind us in the distance there um, that has a lot of um, infants, younger folks in it. And then this this area right here. Um, they believe this is a, if you look down through their uh, book binder, if you go online and, and Google book binder, Peoria State Hospital, you can hear the backstory on books, book binder, his uh, experiences here as a patient. So when we're open, you know, we use, we, 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 we don't go in the cemetery because, you know, after, after dark you can't be in the cemetery, but we light it. And a lot of folks, when they come around the corner, they don't realize it's a real yeah. cemetery. I mean, it's just... They don't think of it. They don't know. They don't, you know, yeah. they just see it and go, wow. That's really cool. And all the, all the headstones have numbers. They, do not, they are not named. So we respect, we respect those. Oh, yeah. How many haunted houses have you seen, friends, that have a real cemetery right there? 
comment below. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Nope. <laughs> Just this one. So when we are open, all this area out here, this is all queue line staging. Mm -hmm. They actually, the customers and guests would actually go into the building into an indoor waiting area where we have church pews, mm -hmm. where we can keep them out of the weather if it's inclement weather. And then this area here, we have a huge circus tent, huge tent mm -hmm. for outdoor waiting. So they'll go in there and then they can come out and get underneath the canopy here before they're released into the front door. Cute. Look at all the bicycles over there. <laughs> right. <laughs> so the thought process on that was they come to the hospital, they ride their bicycle to the hospital, mm -hmm. they park their bicycle, and they never pick their bicycle up because they didn't make it back out. Right. Yeah, lots of bicycles. It's full. So that's why there's lots of bicycles. Right, right. I'm glad we didn't come by bicycle. So right. <laughs> we might not have left. <laughs> and then we have uh, my older brother, Scott Little. He's the, uh, Scott. the brainchild. He just joined us. Mm -hmm. Scott's going to show us the inside. Yeah. All the spooky go. stuff. The real spooky, or the haunted house spooky stuff. <laughs> well, I see, I see four <laughs> spooky stuff right here. Four right. spooky yeah, people. Yeah, we're pretty yeah. spooky. Yeah. I'm usually fine till about... 10 o'clock at night. I love this entrance. About 10 and then you start at, getting pretty and then, spooky. And then you start seeing stuff move and <laughs> your hair starts standing up and then you're, you start getting goosebumps. And, oh, oh good. So, so this was the front door to the hospital. The hospital, this was the, the this circle drive is the where the public would come to see their family. And then I cut doorways through the outside of the haunt as you go around, there's 13 of them, so that we could go- There's that number again. So we could go, yeah, isn't that something? <laughs> so we could go from room to room to room and not have to come in the hallway. So the hallway is for just emergency access and after access. And if there's a room that somebody falls down, they get hurt, we can, guide them out a different door they go through the hallway which looks like the hospital because it is the yeah. hospital and then they go right back in around the other side the immersion stays strong here no matter what because you're in a real hospital correct uh oh i don't know if i trust it i don't uh, oh uh -oh. god it's dark it is dark i'm afraid of the dark Ooh. there's so much stuff in here Ooh. Uh-oh, that's creepy. So many of these things creep me out because I don't know who's real. So there's 300 standing mannequins. 300. There's real props too. Like this is a real child's viewing coffin. Oh, wow. There was nothing in the building. And in six months, well, one year, in six months, I built the whole haunt in six months. Six months. And then we're continually adding. It, like it didn't have uh, emergency lighting. So we, I added a lot of emergency lighting. And this is your second season? This is, or we've been open season. twice, so we've been okay. open 26 days. 26 so third days. season will be our 27th day of being open. Uh-oh. Oh my, those look real. you know, painted and then wiped off to give yeah. it the age. Yeah. This, this was a uh, printer's. So as you walk press, around the haunt, you'll see yeah. printer drawers everywhere for blocking the view. That's what that's for. Okay. Yeah, all over. So those were full. That was all, all printer drawers. Hmm. The block in the view helped. Yep. Help with the suspense. This actor can scare two spots. Yes. This actor can scare two spots. I got this donated from an Insanity Haunted House. He's hanging out way up there. How do you get up there? Oh, what is that? That's like an old, I don't, body carrier. Old, uh, yeah. Yeah. Stokes <laughs> basket, I think they call it. Oh, okay. Ooh, there's something crawling. You hear it? I hear it. Oh, no. What is this? Is that? That's a Stokes. Stokes, Stokes basket, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. If, you, if, you, if you would turn it around. That I've had for a long time, so I was just waiting for a, a reason to use it. It's cool. <laughs> the old ones molded for the legs. Uh -huh. and well, they'd strap them in that way. The yeah. new ones are just flat front to back, but yeah. And I did a lot of things like this where it says Aura. Yeah, I was going to say, doesn't that spell something? Yeah. Wow, this is such an authentic setting. I love it. Uh-oh. 
Well, they're getting some kind of treatment in there. <laughs> that makes me want to pay way more attention to more, like, I'm going to be in here forever looking at stuff. So that's that's a doorway we had to do. Each doorway took me 24 hours. So that's one that you had to cut. 24 hours, yeah. Well, this, okay. was the, uh, this was the uh, uh, top room. There's two tubs here. Yeah, there yeah. Two showers. There was there. two showers. And where, where the so they would do the heat therapy, you know, where they'd lock them in there with the with the. So they actually did uh, that. Some of those things here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they didn't know what would help. Right. Take care of the uh, tuberculosis. Where we're gonna get ready to go to? That was actually the restroom for the wing. But we're actually gonna go through the wall. I noticed you guys kind of put this up too. Is it to keep people from? It's one of the swamp lasers. Okay. You can't see below Ooh, your waist. Ooh, okay. So the, the handrail so, so the they can okay. see where to walk. Okay. So this was a oh, working yeah. shower when when we got the building. Okay. Um, but I, I took it out. So like this. Yeah, you can see there was over a, here. There's, yeah, this is it, yeah. this is it, this is it, what it looked like. And then there was one here. Oh, wow. Smooth. You can see yeah, how thick the, the wall was. The walls are. Wow. Because all the plumbing in the wall. Are all of the walls that thick? No, no, okay. just just the ones with the plumbing in it. So okay. And then there's an electrical one. They got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing back there? Ooh. I don't like that. <laughs> oh no. So this would have been the restroom from from in here. You'd come into the bathroom. There was three stalls here. That was the privacy you got. <laughs> Not much. Oh, look at that giant mouse trap. It's what's so funny? You must Scare think we're funny me. looking. Yeah. All the walls move like that. If, if we have a real problem, that mm -hmm. wall just is on a hinge. You can see the hinge here, and I can swing this all open Very in a few nice. minutes. They've done this before, I tell you. <laughs> How long have you guys actually been haunting? 46 years this year. 46. 40, 40, 41 for me. Do you guys still have ropes in case people move slow? We do. do. We, we have a rope. We call it Roper. Okay. We call on the radio for a Roper, and it's. It, I'll show it. It's in the hallway. Okay. <laughs> for some reason, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Single file line, everybody. We're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah. It works. Oh yeah. That's how the Roper yeah. works. And, and Heck yeah. That yeah. gets rid of so many problems. So many when you get a group of six or seven legs. people and you can't get them to move, and there's two right. people afraid. You give them that rope and and you can let everybody go by them and, and come back out and get behind them and that way the, the groups can separate. So if, if somebody's struggling, they need that, how do we get people to move? Get you a roper. With the rope, I was wondering, of course your customers don't ask for it because they don't know it's a thing unless they get it, but I wonder how many people that are terrified of haunts would feel better being able to like choose that as an option, like a security blanket, because we talk to so many people that oh, as an upsell. Are, yeah, like maybe. Well, I guided like, tour. Like some of our viewers, they always tell us, "I'm too afraid to go to a haunted house," but I wonder if that would help. Uh, maybe you could use that. You know, different haunts could use it as an upsell, as like a guided tour. If you noticed, also, that's not a, a poly poly rope. That's a soft, so you don't get a, a hand right, burn. Right, right. You don't get a burn. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's soft. soft. It's rope. It's yeah. not nylon. Yeah, it is soft. It, but it's not the prickly kind. Yeah, it's right. soft. Somebody's not going to hang on to it and no, get burned you get a, if you, you get a hand. Because they still, they still bounce around. He did sneak up back there. <laughs> you ruined my nightmares. Look at all the little spideys. <laughs> no. You see all those, yeah, Nora? No. Hey, Nora, look up no, here. No. <laughs> Where? No. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's in front of me, and I don't like it. <laughs> what is up there? They're like floating. Did you notice mm. that? That's cool. They're just hanging out. They are, literally. They're floating so, though. When we're open, you can't see the legs anyway. Right, but right. But this is on backwards. It's a, it's a. But you can't tell. It's a choir I love how they're floating, because I was like, what? I didn't have mannequins, but I had 
chest piece. Yeah, yeah. Same thing on this half. If, if we had somebody go down, we needed a gurney in. This whole wall opens up, and we can get to anywhere in the Very building. Very nice. For safety. Having the gurney in mind is something I've never... And we I've have never... a gurney, so we've taken it everywhere. We can get everywhere. That's why they don't have legs, too, as he was saying, you can get a gurney through here. Yeah, because it normally here. goes over a little farther, so that's tighter, more twisting and turning, and then there's live actor. How many actors do you all typically have during season? Uh, 35 to 50. Wow, heck yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Whoa, there's something back there. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. There's something in there. Ooh, those are big bunnies. Oh my. Ow, God, what's in these trunks? I wonder. Somebody's trying to get out of one. Whoa. Oh my. Ay, ay, ay. What is that? I don't. It's a chipmunk. Ah, I don't trust it. Oh, and there's a bear. <laughs> this room, I had to like. I'm like, oh my God, they're neat? all rabbits. So we bought. Uh, in uh, Champaign, there was a rental party rental place that went out of business. The one with the dinosaur coming yes, out of the building? Yes. yes. So we bought all their bunny stuff. These, oh, you bought all of their gorilla outfits. You got all so that? So those oh. are gorilla outfits, not, not bunny suits. Okay. And good. I didn't have to paint them because they're already black. Right, right. But now the heads we had to paint. Wow. It makes them creepier, though. In the dark, yeah. Yeah. It sounded like somebody was beating on one of these. Yeah. You know there's a lot of history in this room with oh, all these trunks what's been in all, all over been. the United States, possibly the world, they've been. And they're all real, yeah, they're... Uh-oh. Oh, what the heck? Those are so creepy! Oh! Oh, I don't know which one to look at. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh, there's lots of lab equipment in here. They've got a lot of collections of stuff in here. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Ooh, look at the red! Oh, the red laser. Ooh. It's hiding it's with, swamp within the catacombs in here. Oh. Oh! Jeez! <laughs> I love those audible scares. <laughs> it looks so different with the lights on, doesn't it? It does, but it's, it's still creepy to me, though. Lots, I got lots of hospital equipment. I noticed there was quite a collection of stuff in here, like all these things. The camera room was creepy too. Oh, like the yeah. taxidermy stuff? I just yeah, got that yeah. look just fish. before we opened. And in order to keep it safe, I just screwed it up there. I haven't, I haven't, I'm gonna build a display. This is a good thing that you need because you can- Yes. And they grab each other. We can't touch them, but you they can touch somebody in your group and they do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to put some more spots like that and make it a little bit tighter. I know that they would get me a lot in there uh, during hot season, too. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! I don't trust you! <laughs> Ooh, they got taking their tree home. Look at that. There's just so many props in here. I don't know which ones are real. Oh! <laughs> Holy moly! Hey. <laughs> Took out this whatever's behind me there. That was good. Ooh, look at that little elf. Oh. <laughs> Preparing for Christmas haunts. Mm -hmm. Bringing their trees in. Yep. We didn't open for Christmas yet. Oh, so yes. I'm collecting. Ah, uh, he's collecting for Christmas for a reason. What is that? That's an old game, oh, isn't it? This came from our house. It's a star. Oh, like oh for the tree. Okay. No, it was on our it was on our garage when we were kids, and my dad just gave it to that me, so I'm gonna put it up somewhere in here. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll have to come back sometime and see Bob because he's in charge. Yeah, Bob's. <laughs> He is actually the East Peoria Festival of Light Santa Claus. Oh, so and he comes in here and works and in the haunt, too. And he comes in here in the haunt. That's awesome. But. So this is where you leave, and this is also when you came in as a patient, you would you'd be deloused and they'd shave your head. Oh, all, oh. If you look at the floor, if you look, there's the drain. I like how you guys do the employee of the months, too. Um, he does it himself. He's, oh, okay. I saw here, one here's, in a different room. Here's the, yeah, that's him. So... Okay, so this is... Oh, this isn't it. It was that other one. January, February, March, all the months have Bob on it. Because he's the <laughs> self-appointed employee of the month. So he, ha he has put a That's couple fine. other people in there that, that were passed away or right. did something new. Mm. So, I, don't, I see daylight. Maybe, maybe we survived, Tyler. I think it's just the first half. 
Ooh, it's so dark and spooky in there. Mm -hmm. I love that immersion. That's got a hell of a little, a good really cool and... vibe in there. Ooh, they got me good in there several times, especially Scott. Yeah, there's some good like lights and loud sounds. I know, mm -hmm. one of those sounds by the Christmas tree when it like the tree makes the sound and then the second sound comes in, mm -hmm. it's got that like double tap. The audio in there is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. it's so good. I was creeped the F out when we were in that hallway in the hooded things yeah. and you oh, couldn't yeah. see yeah. what was at the end of the hallway except for just fog. It's, like that. it's only half good. of it. Ah, the vibe in there. That's so, and it's haunted. 100% haunted because mm. I can feel it. 100% mm -hmm. haunted. We must come back here and investigate. Mm -hmm. yep. So YouTube, well, friends of YouTube, our friends, if you want us to come back and investigate this building, let us know in the comments because we can do that. So many doors, I'd get so lost. Is that normally set up to just hook around and go so, right back in? Or? So when you come out, when they come out, they come down here and then this is a, we, we restage at another corral. Oh, oh, so okay. it's like a so, new queue. So it's right. a new queue, new right. stages to set for the second half of the hall. Well, that Heck works yeah. too. You, you can like almost split themes too. Kind of makes it a little more flexible. Well, where well you we can... get people, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's funny because when they come out, they're like, well, oh, no. Thank goodness this is over. It's like, you're only halfway. It's not yeah. over. <laughs> <You're> like, <"What?" laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. like, yes! <laughs> we got more! <laughs> Here we go, to the right. Uh oh, oh, what are those? Oh god, it got really dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were just out in that right Yeah, I can't see nothing anymore. I know. Oh, there's a skeleton, I see that. Oh my god, there's lots of whispers. Shoot! Oh, what is that? Uh, oh, they're getting taller. Uh, oh my. I was glad you noticed the belts because I literally just put those so up I'm like, like somebody had to take that off when they came in though and then they never took like the bikes. They never took their belt back, you know. That would have been a blanket warmer this? closet. This? Yeah, okay. That's, that, would have been that, was, that was the blanket warmer closet. But everybody's got skeletons in their closet. Ah. This room, when we came in, the sun blinded us like crazy, so it took like forever for these to come into view. But I was like, it's weird how they're all different sizes. And if oh, you no. look back to the right, you can see the uh, some of the gauges that would have been yeah, for the uh, for you, and you guys got for the for the too. equipment when they when they were treating patients, and that's original to the building. So the family of five came to see the dad get electrocuted. <laughs> you see all five of them? No, well, no, four. I don't know where the fifth one is. Pregnant. Oh, another one of those pregnant mannequins. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. oh, what happened to the pets? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, through the blood door. Uh oh. God, those whispers are creepy. Mm, the heartbeat. I know. I know it ain't my heartbeat because mine's way going way. Oh, that's a good spot. Yeah. So this is where their their clothes were put. The the door that was right down here, that bottom shelf. But that was in that drawer from the original hospital. Oh, how cool. The, the door had been kicked in, and when I cut this opening, I had to take that out, and we found it. They found so, some stuff from an actual from patient that was here? Actual patient. <laughs> oh, I'm just now seeing all those TVs. Those are the um, oh, look at monitors. That. Those are the monitors from the Joliet prison. Yeah. So there was a gal in here when you guys came. There's a sensor there. And then we have a tall kid that stands in here with just like those. And you can't tell which one so is real. So what made you guys choose the name of the attraction? I've had this name for 15 years, waiting to open a haunted house. Very nice. Taglines, everything. Well, we got we come up with one new tagline that I didn't come up with. Yeah, fear comes to Peoria. Yeah. OK. Uh-oh. God, it's dark in here. Ooh. Oh, there's, we found the body parts that were missing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Oh, creepy. What the heck is that? Mm. Oh, Spidey webs. I don't know. I don't like it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's creepy, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Uh-oh. Are you screaming? What's uh, happening? Uh, what was that? Yeah. 
you couldn't see that. I we know, normally I'm, have lights in there. But. I saw some and I'm like, that's where the rest of those bodies are. They're all in there. Now, did you say you guys put, I saw this in the, when I was, I was like, whoa. Isn't that amazing? I don't, and people I don't don't like it down, they'll walk around it. That one creeped me out. That's one of the creepiest ones in here to me. Blah. Yeah, definitely lots of So I did of everything I could to do things cheap. These are headboards from the uh, Pierre Marquette. And so they're all over the haunt too. They were already painted, so I'd have to paint them. They aren't eight feet, but they're tall enough you can't see over them. And so they're all over. And that old stove. I know. That's Man. wild. The stove. I couldn't find one of those if this I tried. Oh, the washing machine. Oh, that old washing Nora. What? Oh, washing machine. Oh, that. Is that what that is too, or what is that? That's a wine press. That's a wine press. There's two of them. One of them is the the guillotine in that first room. Oh. That would, that's what that is, and here's the basket. Okay. I just turned. I just took a cookie sheet, put it on the back side. Oh my God! Found him. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and you have all kinds of hidey holes. Mm -hmm. Dang it. He knows this place well. Ah! Oh, that's beautiful. Yum. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. I like this guy. I think he's been buried. Oh, he's got backup shovels. He's got backup shovels. Oh. I think you might have cut yourself a little bit with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the kitchen. Yeah, the floor. You can definitely tell with the floor. Uh huh. Yeah, the voice in this room. I liked that. Yeah. So these these are um, travel coffins. They're they're um, travel coffins. That's how they would take a body on an airplane or whatever. Oh. To get them different places. So they're like places. fiberglass. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you weren't buried in these. Those are real. We have we have several real coffins, like of four metal. of them. Metal, yeah. So those are real. So the so the play on this is, um, you know, uh, most mortuaries you you prep the body and you take it and you bury it. The the play on this is the grave digger, he exhumes the bodies, brings them in here, and then harvests what he needs. Oh. So it's a reverse of a mortuary. He's the grave digger. He's he's collecting the coffins so he can harvest. Let's see more headboards. Right. Made bunk beds out of it. He, that's where he's digging up bodies too with all them shovels. Yeah, this room made me like very uneasy because of all these cameras. We got all those cameras at one place. Jeez. One by. <laughs> all but this big, this is a movie camera from the old, an old kind, the old time of movie. That's what's for video. Oh no. What? Whoa, what? Okay, there's so many things looking at us. Oh God! Oh my God! It's dark. What? Okay. What? What? What you hear? What you? That's cool. Ooh, there's so many audience members. You? Oh, things in the dark. Oh, try not to look at them. Oh, it's a pirate. Oh, it's getting ready to storm. Or it is storming. Yeah, so you guys couldn't see this room when you came through. It was dark and creepy. There's no power. The, 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 Crap, that's the, what it was. The breaker isn't on because of the other thing, so these two rooms. I like how you try to hide the speakers, too. Yep, just just put put yeah, a wig on it. Right. Yep. Yeah. Then the closer you can bring them to the people, mm -hmm. um, like in that room I didn't point it out, but the speaker actually goes the other way. It, it faces the window because when it hits that glass and bounces back, it's actually louder in the room not having the speaker at them than it is if, by turning it the other way. Plus the people outside waiting in the queue line can for the hear second half, outside. they yeah. hear it so and they, a they hear dual the commotion. Purpose. Yeah. Take dual notes. purpose. Yeah. Heck yeah, look at that. All the skulls, it's cool. Joanna, Eric would have loved looking at all this. <laughs> yeah, you can Our see husband. where there's 300 standing mannequins. Yeah, yeah. That sometimes I think is why when you're here by yourself later at night, everywhere you walk, there's mm, people standing would, there looking yeah. everywhere. Yeah, I'd be getting the crap scared out of me. Yeah, I'd be staring at these and she'd be ah! really well, getting me. she's back there in the corner, you don't really down. see her. Yeah, she's oh, usually she the on the that She comes towards you through the fog, and that's what gets that's you. That's a poison yeah. props. What in the world? 
There's like a Wendigo partial so head in there. that's a costume. Yeah. A bird costume that somebody oh, cool. wears. I wish the sound worked in here because it's another one that we made. It's, it's very annoying. And the girls in the room before on our first season, they asked if we could shut the sound off in this room because it was so annoying. And I said, isn't that something? The room that's got an annoying sound in it, you want to shut off? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, what it's yeah. for, is to be right, annoying. Right, right. It's doing its job. So yeah, they make a lot of sound here too. They do. Oh, whoa, that's like some kind of... Oh, ah! <laughs> ancient thing. Ah, it must have made that thing come to life. Ooh, look at those eyes up in the ceiling. So see if you can figure out how I, how I made him only 10 feet. Joanna, I'm going to task Joanna with it. He said that these skeletons are the 12 footers from Home Depot, but they had to make them 10 foot. How did they do it? See if you can figure it out. Because she's got some in her yard, so I, I want to see if she can. I don't know. Oh, I see it. Uh, I think I see it. To tell him. Oh God! Yep. There That's exactly is. what it is. I think he. You I have think to he add. A, you have to add a piece of steel here. Yeah. You have to add a little chunk, huh. but then you can make them ten feet tall. This room gets a lot of uh, compliments, a lot of wows, a lot of oohs. Yeah, you know. Have, People come in here and stop. And, and, and when oh, you okay. look at the, all the eyes have been cut out, and each one has yeah, a different light. Yeah, they have different, different colors. Different, different colored eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we have. Um, the 12 foot skeleton, we have the inferno, and then we have a werewolf. You need the dog now, though, because they yeah, made a dog the for dog. these. And I, heard, yeah, I hear the they're going to make yes. an 18 foot. Yeah, oh. 18 foot. Oh, wow. Foot. Reaper too, so. Yeah, you don't expect to see these in here. You know, they're it's very yeah, touchy. Yeah. That skeleton down there I got for my birthday from Scary Gary. Oh. The one on the ground. <laughs> Scary Gary? Yeah. Oh, God. What are those? Ooh. I'm gonna go towards the music. Oh, oh. Uh, this, towards this creepy thing in here. Oh my. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Maybe this way. Maybe. Oh, look at the pumpkins. Uh oh. Shoot. I've never heard a pumpkin like that. Don't you eat me. Evil pumpkins. Very evil pumpkins. <laughs> Oh, pumpkins. Oh, I so know, I know. A, we have a, a gal that wears the, the doll outfit. Oh, so she, she's a real one. But when you look down the hall, you, you can, can't you know, see you nothing can see down there. You can see all the way down the hall, yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Are open. And then there's eye candy here that they go to look at, and then she moves. She doesn't scare people. She, her goal is dad. She's waiting and just waiting, and all she does is either twist a wrist because she's holding on to the she just show she's real. She just or moves. she cocks her head. Oh. And, she, and she try, her goal is to let one person in the group see her in the beginning and one person, because whoever's first, last one around the corner, they always turn around. 99% yeah. of them, the last person will turn around to see if anybody's following them. And also I want to know now if I did twist that. Her hand. <laughs> Lindsay probably did, because she don't like dolls and they're kind of, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was it, what they say it was, 1930s? Dentist, dentist chair, chair yeah. and, and the whole the whole outfit. Wow! Yeah, dentist yeah. chair, the the I had the, that the donated, light, the I had that drill. donated for two years of tickets. Actually, yeah. I just gave him a whole bunch of tickets and said, "Just keep coming." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. a nice, that's, that's nice, a just real... a nice prop. Mm -hmm. Just a nice. Very much. Look so. how uncomfortable that would be too. Oh, I wouldn't even no. Especially with like dental work. Dentist. Nope. Nope. And if, if you, you can't see, but if you look, it's if you look at the drill, it's all run by the rubber bands and stuff. The, the, and it's the, all the rubber there. ropes. It's all. all it was not, all pulley. Could you driven. imagine yes. how long filling a cavity oh, would have oh, taken? Yeah. That's our indoor waiting <laughs> when we come in. Yeah. There's a lot of energy in this building. This one. At the, the yeah, end oh of October, gosh. all the way through to almost Christmas, every time I come in, would come in, it was just like overwhelmingly heavy. 
and then slowly it just got better. And, you know, that like now not it's helping. nothing compared to. We've got one that's actually like risen with the rest of us. Oh, oh, what did the heck do you? Oh, His hair is coming off. that's not good. That's. Uh, you want me to put it back? Oh, oh, I'm glad you. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's. Willing to trade. No, nope. I'm gonna keep mine. Yours, yours doesn't have any purple in it. <laughs> that is much cheaper than what I did. <laughs> Look at all the antlers up there. I got those from one taxidermy place. He passed away, and all of those were from one location. Is that a that's a door, right? With the no, the, the handles, handles because they have an actor up there. She needs something to hold. Oh, she's, she, that's where she is. The whole time she's okay. up there, she's supposed to hold on to it. She okay. didn't for you guys, I noticed. But. Okay. What in the heck are those? More belts. This is, the, no, no, this is for horses. Oh, These are the leather. Okay. Leather for horses. I thought they were vines when I was coming through, and I was like, what the heck kind of vines are these? That's what they look like in the dark, though. This is one of my favorite areas for sure. This, this tree is, has a 25 foot wing, wind span every direction, but because we put it in the building, we had to you know, change it inside. But it was inside of a building. That's where, where we got it. Uh oh. Ooh, there's a kitty. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't even see them there at all. <laughs> Ooh, more catacomb stuff. Ooh. Look at that pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at that too. Oh, very nice. There's another More one of my scent. scent things. Always wondered how the scents work, but I didn't know if everybody puts them in their fog machine or. So what I normally do is I I spray it on. It's a black T-shirt, is what it was, and everybody has lots of extra black T-shirts. So I spray it on there and then put it in the haunt. And then after the season, I usually put them in Ziplocs. Oh, okay. So you don't have to smell it. But I, since, I, since I had done it three or four weeks before we ended, mm -hmm. I, they, were, they were down enough that I just didn't care. Mm -hmm. I, just left, I left them so that I could smell each one and remember what I put where. Oh, Lindsay has another friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lindsay's popular today. <laughs> Uh, this is our photo op place and our, normally our gift shop. I just <laughs> rewired all these. That's why they're sitting down because they light up and we didn't have them lighting up. And how many photo ops everybody can? I think there's nine. Heck in yeah. Here. So when you come during season, you can hang out in here and get your yep. picture. And there's all kinds of spooky stuff. We get sad when haunts don't have stuff for us to buy. So yeah. we like I know. having yeah. an option. Uh. We, being, it's hard when you just open and to try to get as much as you can with your name on it. He's sneaking. So, um, so Jim was, was um, one of my best friends. Um, as a haunter, he called me every week for years, and then he passed away. So this was his costume that he wore the first year. And so I, I put it on there. Um, and then these, we we believe in supporting haunted houses, so we we volunteered at more than one haunted house, and there's so there's, there's different haunted houses that we volunteered at um, with his photos when he passed away. Very nice. I remember Mar we got a picture of Mario and Nancy over here. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, you know, matter of fact, Mario and Nancy are right there with him, right down here in the bottom, right down there. Yep. Oh, look at that! Heck so, yeah! So you guys, you guys made our. Tribute yeah. to Jim. Um, Mario Amazing. and Nancy actually came to his funeral. Very, very. Mm -hmm. they Thank came you, down. Mario and Nancy. I was really grateful. I don't that think they we got that. to meet Jim. Jim did our costuming and oh, just. Okay. Did he make that mask? No. That's no. creepy no. though. He made, he made the costume. Oh, okay. But he didn't wear that. Look at that. He made Scott's coat. Yeah, he made my coat. Oh. Yeah, he made your coat? Steve's coat. And we came from Spook Hollow and across the river. They're not too far away. And, and that's where we started. And so he did a lot of costuming there, too. I kind of tricked him into doing it by saying, so why don't you do costuming? Because he's, he's really into being looking good, you know? He and, looked at Backracks, yeah. the men's fashion store, oh, for years. Okay. So, so he, he was, knew fashion. So he was into fashion. And I asked him one time, I said, why don't you, why don't you be a costuming? And he's like, why would I want to do costuming? I want to go out and see everybody and, and have fun and do everything. I go, yeah, why would you want to do the costuming for 
all the people that are here and they will know who you are. And then when you're open, you don't do costume. And when you're open, it's already done. He got to thinking about it. It took him about two weeks. And then he said, okay, that's what I'm going to do. And then he was so glad. And when he decided to do it, he was all in. He was in. all in. But We're he, talking he, every he just, day he, from work. He'd come home he from would, work and he'd he have just learn. He'd make and something for He'd somebody. learn from other people and research it. And so yeah. For me, it was a great a loss, a great loss. I definitely bet he's still here watching you guys, too, Oh, though. gosh, yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Ew. So they can get their whole group. Yeah, heck yeah. yeah. We'll probably do that before we leave. Ooh, you guys got the big NASA searchlights. Do you think that those bring in a lot of uh, attention? It's, you're here. You've arrived. You know, they know that confirming you're Confirming you're here, yeah. yeah. They know they're outside, you know, you know during construction, you know, when we're yeah. not on construction, the, there's the gift shop here. This is all, the, the, the guests come through here and then they got selfie stations they can take pictures with and we usually have one or two characters in here that they can get their picture taken with. Very nice.